Hi all. In my today's video, I'll talk about uh, creating a chat application with WebSocket. Uh, in my previous video, I have demonstrated how can we uh, demonstrated how can we use uh, uh, the WebSocket API uh, from Jetty server and use that in my in our application. Uh, so I'll use the same concept over here and we'll create a simple chat application. Um, so yesterday I have shown you that um, each time. Uh, a client connects to a WebSocket channel. A WebSocket object is created. So, uh, basing on the basis of the concept of this, that uh, the client, uh, whenever client makes a request, a new op WebSocket object is created. Uh, so, we we are going to stick into that concept. And <coughs> what we'll add it here, we'll create a set of uh, WebSocket uh, objects. So this class chart socket WebSocket uh, is a uh, class which implements this WebSocket uh, interface. Uh, so we'll have a set of this WebSocket uh, objects, and each time we'll get a message from client, we'll just ping them. Uh, we'll iterate we'll over the um, client objects or uh, WebSocket objects and send the message to all these objects. So that means if I have two clients or so two or three clients, so I'll have three objects uh, of this WebSocket uh, interface. Uh, so, the, uh, so the lo logic is whenever I get a message, so this is on message of, um, method of my you know, WebSocket interface. So whenever I get a message, I just need to add it over the number of uh, um, WebSocket uh, objects are available. I need to add it over it and send a message to each of the respective client so that whatever um, uh, updates are coming all the clients will be uh, notified. So to demonstrate it, I have used the same concept here. Um, I have an um, input uh, a box here where I can send some input. I will show you the screen. Uh, so here I have an um, input text box where user can enter their name and uh, the moment you connect it, um, it will create an uh, web, uh, you create an website uh, object like this. So uh, what I'm doing, uh, along with the request, I'm sending the username, and I'm just passing to the uh, chat or website class. So you can see it here, and uh, and the next thing is uh, whenever user clicks on send message, this on message method will be called. Uh, so then what I'm doing, I'm editing over the uh, number of uh, uh, clients objects created for a uh, user or channel and then I am uh, uh, sending them the, all the messages. So uh, to demonstrate uh, this, we have to use uh, any uh, two browsers which uh, who support uh, WebSocket API. Uh, so as of now we have uh, Firefox and uh, Mozilla, even if Safari also supports that. Safari also has got uh, native support to WebSocket. Uh, even if you can use Safari also over here. Just see them how it works. Okay. So I have three browsers. So each time I'll what it'll do, I'll just uh, connect to the server by entering some the name. Uh, so this is connected now. Let's say this client, uh, I'll just say, give some other name. So this is also connected. Now, okay, now let's start something here. I'll just say, hi. send a message so it came here and you can see all other browsers were in Firefox and uh, Safari also the update has come uh, so the logic is here so as of now three connection objects has been created because we have used uh, three browsers and uh, uh, three different clients are there so at this point uh, uh, <coughs> uh, a single chart socket of socket class will be created for a single client. 
and uh, this particular set uh, it will have three members now and what i'm doing uh, on message method i'm just iterating over the number of uh, uh, clients available and sending the messages to all of them so that's why you can see um, when i enter here it, it comes all all over <coughs> so let's type it here you can see this message also even if here also if I'll type so you can see that uh, so all of the places this is being updated uh, so this is a simplest example of a chart application uh, demonstration where we have used a uh, web circuit uh, as an API. Uh, so the main concept is whenever any message comes to the server, you push, push the message to all available clients. This is a basic uh, uh, methodology of a chart application. Uh, so just now we have seen how easily we can create a chart application with very less code with web circuit API. Even if you disconnect also, the particular client will be dis disconnected. Uh, so the thing is, now if I type something here, so I am getting the update in, uh, in, in, the, in the clients, whoever is connected to server and uh, this particular client is not connected so it will not, you will not get any update on that. So this is the simplest example of a chat application by using WebSocket API. So this application is made with the JT and uh, HTML5 WebSocket uh, JavaScript API. Thank you.